The movie's main character is a 23-year-old woman named Noah who is eager to find a boyfriend. She resorts to using online dating sites and has gone on dates with various men, but they all ended in disappointment. During one such date, she encounters a man named Chadwick, who turns out to be obnoxious, making misogynistic comments and boasting about his wealth. He also insists that Noah will be paying for their dinner. As their conversation progresses, Noah becomes increasingly irritated, leading her to decide to leave. Chadwick, however, doesn't miss the opportunity to make hurtful remarks calling her a disappointment who wasted his time. Noah, unaccustomed to such disappointment, remains silent and leaves. Later, at the gym, she confides in her best friend Molly about the incident. Noah begins to believe she'll remain single for life, but Molly assures her that God is saving the right man for her. Noah humorously imagines God keeping a group of men locked up somewhere at night. One day, Noah runs into a man named Steve at a nearby supermarket, and they bond over their shared love for cotton candy grapes. She smitten by his charm. Steve asks for her number, and without hesitation, Noah gives it to him. The next day, she talks to Molly about Steve, describing him as a handsome guy with a good personality. Molly jokes that he's probably married. Noah finally receives a call from Steve, who promptly asks her out on a date. Taken aback by the sudden request, Noah, driven by her desperation, agrees without much thought. During their date, Steve and Noah open up about their backgrounds. Steve reveals he's a surgeon from Texas who's new to town. While Noah has just graduated from college and is job hunting, they connect over their shared lack of parents and their independent lifestyles. Steve mentions his disinterest in social media. Following their date, Noah invites Steve to her apartment and things become intimate. The next morning, Noah feels incredibly happy and takes a photo of the sleeping Steve. She excitedly calls Molly to share the details of her fantastic night. Noah's elation is short-lived, though, as she mentions that Molly's ex-boyfriend, Paul, worked as a bartender at the restaurant that night. She informs Molly that Paul has recently come out as a lesbian, ending their relationship. The next night, Noah meets Steve again, and they discuss their lives over takeout. She shares details about her best friend, friend, Molly. After eating, Steve suggests they dance, and despite Noah's initial hesitance, they have a great time. However, out of the blue, Steve asks Noah if she'd like to go on a weekend trip with him, but he keeps the destination a secret. Despite the red flags, Noah agrees due to her growing fondness for Steve. Molly becomes concerned and tries to investigate, learning that the waterfall image Steve sent was from a stock photo. Steve takes Noah to an isolated, shady-looking house. He prepares a drink, and after Noah takes a sip, she passes out. Upon regaining consciousness, she finds herself chained up with Steve, who confesses to drugging her. He reveals his horrifying secret. He's a cannibal who kidnaps and sells young women for their flesh. Steve plans plans to keep her alive for as long as possible while gradually removing body parts. Noah desperately calls for help, and she finds that another woman, Penny, is trapped in an adjacent room. They discover they're both orphans, which is why Steve targets women with no parents. No one will come looking for them. Another victim, named Melissa, who has lost her mind, starts singing. Molly becomes worried after not hearing from Noah and sends messages, but Steve responds using Noah's phone. He sends her a misleading image and claims claims that Noah is disconnecting from technology. Molly becomes suspicious. Noah tries to escape, but is overpowered by Steve, who decides to remove her buttocks as punishment. Molly eventually confronts Paul and learns the truth about Steve. She visits Steve's wife, Anne, and sends the location to Paul for help. It's revealed that Steve is married with children. Anne invites Molly inside, and Steve arrives, pretending not to know Noah. Molly leaves, but notices her phone in Steve's pocket, exposing him. Steve deceitfully tries to prevent Molly from leaving, but Anne knocks her out. Meanwhile, Noah gains Steve's trust and seduces him. During dinner, Steve reveals a room filled with items from his victims. Noah spots Molly's phone, confirming her visit. Furious, she pretends to be compliant. After dancing, she brutally bites off Steve's genitals and escapes, freeing Penny and Molly. Steve, injured and outnumbered, attacks them. Molly and Noah overpower him, and Noah finishes him off with a gun. They attempt to call for help, but find Molly's phone switched off. Anne arrives and attacks Noah. A violent struggle ensues, but Molly intervenes, killing Anne with a shovel. Noah receives a text from Chadwick, and the movie ends. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.